Okay, um, so hi everyone. I just want to start off by warning everyone that uh, we are working with um, you know, technology and we're hoping that the Wi-Fi uh, will be okay tonight. Um, and if for some reason uh, things start to freeze, just let us know in the chat. Um, we're going to start off with the introduction. Um, I will introduce Ms. Habib. Um, she's on uh, with her camera on and she is the a diploma program coordinator and the head of IB. And then we have Ms. McLaren, who is uh, one of the MYP coordinators and she's waving right now. Um, <laughs> Ms. Habib teaches art, tech arts and um, design. And Ms. McLaren teaches math and leadership. And um, my name is Diana Wayne Martin and I teach science and uh, leadership. So the three of us are the IB coordinators at Glen Forest Secondary School and welcome to the information night. It's virtual and we hope that you will find this very informative and useful. Um, Ms. Seagobin is our vice principal. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a process, eh? <laughs> um, I just want to say welcome to everybody here. We have a great turnout. Thank you, ladies, for um, presenting tonight. Uh, and uh, I'm one of the um, admin team here at Glen Forest. I'm one of the vice principals. And uh, I've been at Glen Forest for almost four years now. It will be four years at the end of the school year. And I can tell you it's a wonderful school um, with a... A uh, great IB program, and it's great because of the three women that you have presenting tonight, along with Nancy Holloway, who is a great support for our program as well. So they will be able to give you as much information as you need, and if you have any other questions, you can reach out to me as well. Okay, okay so um, we are going to start off with an animation. Okay, so we're going to start with this little video. Hello, thank you for your interest in the Glen Forest IB program. We hope you will find this video informative and useful. We will start with the question, what is IB? IB stands for International Baccalaureate. It is an internationally recognized academic program. Glen Forest has two IB programs. It has the Middle Years Program, MYP, for grade 9 and 10. It also has the Diploma Program, DP, for grades 11 and 12. Let's meet the three IB coordinators. Ms. Habib, the DP coordinator. Ms. McLaren, an MYP coordinator. And Ms. Wang Martin, also an MYP coordinator. You might wonder why you would choose the IB program over mainstream or other regional learning programs. Well, there are many good reasons to choose IB and we will explore a few of these reasons. Students learn how to learn in the IB program. Students are taught strategies to help them learn and retain information. They learn these strategies formally and directly in the Grade 9 Design course, in the Grade 10 Leadership course, and informally in their other MYP and DP courses. IB students learn critical thinking skills that are important for solving complex problems. Critical thinking and problem solving are important components of every IB, MYP, and DP course. IB students don't just memorize and recall facts. They learn to think outside of the box. They create new ideas, improve on existing models, and solve complex problems. IB students learn to communicate effectively. Effective communication skills are vital for success in school and in the workplace. 
written, visual, verbal, and nonverbal communication skills are discussed and strengthened through all IB courses, the personal project, extended essay, and theory of knowledge presentations. IB students learn and develop solid time management skills. Through the rigors and requirements of the IB program, students learn to manage their time well. Students are formally taught time management strategies in their leadership course and informally through their either IB courses. They learn to balance their academic and other IB obligations with physical activities, rest, and social and family life. Upon graduation, students will have developed strong time management skills that they will use in post-secondary and beyond. IB students learn to be well-rounded global citizens. The IB aims to develop internationally minded young people who recognizing their common humanity and shared guardianship of the planet help to create a better and more peaceful world. Through components such as the services action and creativity action in service, and through the IB learner profile attributes embedded in all IB courses, the IB aims to develop students into well-rounded, compassionate, and knowledgeable leaders. The IB program is a prestigious program that is recognized and respected by universities and organizations around the world. Many universities recognize the rigor of the IB programs, and some universities will give preference to IB students. Statistical studies done by universities such as the University of British Columbia have shown that IB students fare much better than students from other academic programs in university. Additionally, most universities offer advanced standing for successfully completed IB TPE courses. At Glen Forest, IB MYP students take a balanced set of MYP courses that include English, Science, Math, French, Design, Leadership, Computer Science, Art or Music, and physical education. IB MYP students are also involved in the Services Action program in both grade 9 and in grade 10 and complete a personal project in grade 10. Glen Forest IB DP students take a balanced set of DP courses that includes English, Math, French, Art or Music, Psychology, one or two of the sciences, economics, and theory of knowledge. IBDP students participate in the Creativity Action Service Program, completes a 4,000 words extended essay, and also completes a theory of knowledge essay. Now that you've heard about the IB program in general, we will now talk about the IB program at Glen Forest Secondary School and why you should choose Glen Forest IB program. So here are the top 10 reasons for choosing Glen Forest IB. The first reason is that Glen Forest IB students rank very highly internationally. Our DP students consistently score much higher than the world's IB average in every DP course offered by the school. A second reason is that our Glen Forest IB teachers are IB trained. The majority of our IB teachers have been trained by the IB organization. The third reason is that both of our IB programs are IB accredited. Unlike many IB schools, our grade 9 and 10 IB middle years program is accredited, as is our grade 11 and 12 diploma program. Right when students enter Glen Forest IB in grade 9, they enter the official accredited IB program. The fourth reason is that Glen Forest is an excellent, safe, and highly spirited school. As you can see, Glen Forest has many extracurricular activities for students to be involved in. 
In a typical year, there are fun and exciting activities for students to participate in. Our school is safe, caring, and very spirited. Our students enjoy their time at Glen Forest. The fifth reason is that Glen Forest has been recognized for its excellence. Our school has been recognized by municipal, provincial, and federal leaders for innovative approaches to teaching and learning. We have been recognized by our city councilor, by our mayor, many ministers, the lieutenant governor, the governor general, and the prime minister. The sixth reason is that Glen Forest is an award-winning school. Has many award-winning clubs and students. Our students have won numerous contests and awards in math, computer science, the arts, the sciences, languages, business, and robotics. Our Glen Forest Math Club has been recognized by universities for achieving top standings in math contest. Our Glen Forest STEM team has been recognized by corporation, post-secondary schools, and all levels of the government. For organizing Canada's largest student-run STEM conferences, attended by 2,000 students from across Canada. The seventh reason is that Glen Forest has been positively reported in the local, provincial, and national news. Our school has been featured in the Globe and Mail, CBC News, CTV News, and many times in the Mississauga News. Reason is that Golden Forest IB students achieve success in school. As mentioned before, Glen Forest IB students consistently score very highly in their courses. Levels five, six, and seven are considered to be A to A plus grades, and most IB students score that highly in most of their IB DP courses. The ninth reason is that Glen Forest IB students achieve success in post-secondary schools and in their careers. Most of our IB students gain acceptances to highly competitive university programs at prestigious universities in Canada and abroad. Many of our IB students have gone on to become doctors, lawyers, engineers, accountants, pharmacists, epidemiologists, scientists, economists, and software engineers. The tenth reason is that Glen Forest has excellent teachers. Glen Forest has an excellent teaching staff. Many Glen Forest teachers have won prestigious teaching awards, such as the Peel District School Board Excellence in Teaching Awards, the Ontario Secondary School Teacher Federation Excellence in Teaching Awards, as well as Canada's top teaching awards, the Prime Minister's Awards in Teaching Excellence. If you are interested in applying for Glen Forest IB program, you can apply online from November the 9th to November the 22nd through tinyurl.com backslash Glen Forest IB. This URL will direct you to the Glen Forest IB website. Applicants will find out if they have been accepted to Glen Forest IB through one of three rounds via email. The first round of offers will be sent out on December the 3rd. The second round of offers will be sent out on December the 10th. The third round of offers will be sent out between December the 17th and January the 8th, 2021. If you would like more information about the Glen Forest IB program, please visit our website via tinyurl.com backslash glenforestib. Again, this URL will redirect you to the official Glen Forest IB website. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you at Glen Forest IB next year.
hope you found the little um, presentation useful. Um, we are going to share one uh, testimonial from a former Glen Forest IB student. And uh, it'll be a, a rather short one. And then we will move on um, to show you our website and go over some frequently asked questions um, that uh, we have compiled. OK, so we're going to um, run through Ananya. Ananya is our uh, alumni, and she's currently at U University of Toronto Med Medical School. She went to McMaster Health Science with a very coveted um, program to get into, and then she was accepted to U University of Toronto Medical School, where she is currently studying. Hi, everyone. My name is Ananya, and I graduated from Glen Forest in 2015. Since then, I went to do my undergrad at McMaster in Health Sciences, and I'm currently a first year medical student at the University of Toronto. I look back at my time at Glen Forest and really believe that it was the first step to chasing after my dreams. Because if it wasn't for Glen Forest, I don't think I would have gone to Health Sciences. And if it wasn't for Health Sciences, I wouldn't be pursuing medicine. And I think the skills that I've learned there, the clubs that I was a part of, the mentors I've made really contributed to my journey and my success and the achievements that I hold so dearly right now. And they kind of cascade and compound on each other. There are a variety of reasons why Glen Forest is amazing, but I think for me, it comes down to three things. Uh, one is the amazing quality of teachers and the staff at Glen Forest. The teachers have been doing this for a very long time, so they are, you know that they will be great at delivering the academic content. But not just that, they are amazing at suggesting and pushing students to chase after extracurricular activities and finding avenues for students to engage in them. I remember um, a teacher recommending that I apply for a Cisco Worldwide competition. I would have never heard about it if it wasn't for her. And my best friend and I applied and we actually ended up winning second. Um, or the teachers are behind you when you wanna start a research project or start a club. And if they can't, they will find the people who can help you with that process. And that's so important to feel supported. And I think this comes from the teachers investing all of their time and their energy to a point that you no longer feel like students, but almost family at Glen Forest. The second thing is the rigor of the IB program at Glen Forest. It's super um, helpful when you're transitioning into university because you already know the quality of work and the standard of work that you're required to submit. And because of that, you don't feel like you're scrambling last minute to get things done. Um, it's also where I learned the skills needed to learn on my own and to do things on my own. Because in university, that's not something that um, there's time to figure out. So Glen Forest really helped in that way. But it also helped me understand the university perspective because it brought students from universities to talk to us. And we got a chance to interact with them, form some mentorships. But also, um, we also went to the university and kind of got an understanding of what it means to do a chemistry lab. I remember going to the University of Toronto and, sorry, the University of Waterloo and interacting with a chemistry lab, pipetting and these cool technologies and looking at live bacteria. And in grade 11 and 12, that's pretty cool because you know not a lot of people get a chance to do that until they're in university. The last thing that I really appreciated about Glen Forest is the quality of students at the program. These students are unapologetic about wanting the highest grades of wanting to be executives at various clubs, wanting to do research projects. They are unapologetic about striving and achieving things. And I think that's very important to have that environment because it truly makes you believe that you can do everything that you want to do and there is no ceiling for your potential. And this is supported by your teachers who find different ways to make sure that you get there. So for me, Glen Forest was one of the best experiences and I would go back there in a heartbeat. Um, it is a place where I learned a lot of the skills for university, for life, um, but also a place where I made my best friends um, that I still am so close with and I'm so grateful for. So Glen Forest is definitely a great place and I hope you get a chance to be a part of this amazing school and program. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was Ananya Nair, and um, she graduated, um, it's now five years ago, and um, she is currently in U University of Toronto Med School. So now, um, I'm just going to quickly show you our IB website so that going forward, you're able to navigate the website and find the information that you need. Um, so I'm going to type in tinyurl.com backslash Glen Forest IB. So when you press that, it will redirect you to this site. So tinyurl.com backslash Glen Forest IB is an easy URL to remember, and it will redirect you here. So here um, you will get all the information. So our amazing Miss um, Holloway compiled all this information on our website for our parents and students to view. Um, so first of all, there was another PowerPoint video um, that is different from the animated video that you just watched. So the animated video um, link is here, and this is a more thorough PowerPoint video that you are welcome to watch. It's a little bit longer, um, but it has a little bit more information. And as you scroll down, you see a list of dates um, and other information uh, that we will also cover in the frequently asked questions. Um, so if you notice the top blue menu, you click on IB World School. This is where you can find some information about the IB program in general. And then we have the alumni testimonials. Um, so we have a PowerPoint of different alumni um, testimonials, and these are all the different videos um, similar to the one that we just watched from Ananya. And then uh, we have uh, the FAQs, which we are um, going to go over tonight. And then other information that um, you're welcome to take a look at. So that's uh, where you would have to go to access the IB information on our Glen Forest <clears throat> School website. This is the frequently asked question document that can be found on our Glen Forest IB website. Again, to get there, just type in tinyurl.com backslash Glen Forest IB. And that URL will redirect you to the official Glen Forest IB website. And again, this FAQ document is on the website. So we are going to go over this. And um, hopefully um, these questions and answers will answer a lot of your questions. So we're going to start off with general questions about Glen Forest IB. And the first specific question would be, what are some advantages of studying the IB? Um, well, the IB is a very uh, well-rounded international academic program. And our graduates from the Glen Forest IB um, program are very well prepared for post-secondary studies and for their careers. Um, our IB grads have um, entered many different universities from across Canada and abroad. Um, and um, many of them have received advanced standing, or um, in other words, transfer credits of their successfully completed higher level DP courses um, as first year university courses. Many of our IB grads have received large scholarships um, and offer of acceptances to really highly competitive post-secondary programs such as McMaster Health Sciences, Waterloo Engineering, Accounting, Computer Science, uh, Western Ivy, Queen's Commerce, and um, other you know, very competitive university programs. So the question of where do I find more information about the IB program in general, if you would like more general information about the IB, please visit the International Baccalaureate Organization website. That's uh, www.ibo.org. You can also visit the IB Schools of Ontario website um, at ibschoolsofontario.ca. Uh, IB Schools of Ontario is an organization that consists of all IB schools in Ontario and Glen Forest is a member of the IB Schools of Ontario. 
You can also visit our website, Glenfors IB website, um, for more information as well. So the contents of um, the IB Information Night will be posted on both the Glenfors IB website and on the school board's website. So for the question of what is MYP, well, MYP stands for the Middle Years Program, and um, the students in the MYP program will study a very balanced set of academic courses and also participate in um, non-academic requirements such as the Services Action Program in both grades 9 and grade 10 and the Personal Project in grade 10. Um, in normal times, MYP courses are year-long um, and uh, successful completion of the MYP program will lead to the DP program in grade 11 and in grade 12. So the DP program stands for Diploma Program, and it is a two-year program um, that leads to post-secondary. And um, students complete a holistic and balanced set of academic courses. Uh, they also complete a program called a CAS um, that stands for um, Creativity Service Action and a 4,000 words extended essay in grade 12, as well as a theory of knowledge essay. The, in a normal time, the standard level IB courses are two semesters long, and the higher level courses are three semesters long. Um, so to enter the DP program, students must successfully complete the MYP program. Um, so the question of how is IB different from the AP program, for the AP program you would have to find more information from the AP website and also schools that offer AP. Uh, we are here to talk about the IB program. So the IB program is a very holistic program um, where students complete a balanced set of academic courses and participate in non-academic requirements that build skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, communication, creativity, collaboration, teamwork, and resilience. IB students graduate with an International Baccalaureate World School Diploma in addition to the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. So students um, finish high school with two diplomas, both the IB Diploma and the OSSD Diploma, and um, they will have learned really important um, 21st century soft skills um, that will help them in university and in their careers and in their lives. Um, the question of do students require additional materials? Um, well, our Glen Forest um, School and the Glen Forest IB program um, offers access to an extensive group of databases and membership in the IB software application called ManageBack, um, which all supports students and teachers in meeting the expectation of the IB program. Um, it is recommended but not mandatory for students to have a laptop to do their school work on. So um, the IB program requires um, students to learn a second language, and the second language that um, students learn at Glen Forest IB is French. So students in grade 9 and in grade 10 study French, and then in grade 11 and 12, they will study the standard level French in both grade 11 and in grade 12. So when students um, in the Glen Forest IB program graduate, um, they will be comfortable with reading and writing in French. So the question of uh, what kind of a student is, is a good candidate for IB, well, we found throughout the years that um, students who have strong academic marks are well-rounded or um, want to be well-rounded, who um, have been involved in extracurriculars, who enjoy school and actually want to learn, um, are interested in international perspectives um, that are creative and good communicators tend to be the successful IB students when they enter the IB program. Now this image is uh, the IB learner profile and these are all attributes that um, IB students um, would exhibit and um, what IB hope that students uh, will develop as they go through IB and um, when they are done IB. 
So the attributes are um, reflective, balanced, knowledgeable, open-minded, inquirers, good communicators, risk takers, they are principled, they are thinkers, and they are caring. So now we're going to talk about admission, and we're going to start off with who can apply for Glen Forest IB. Well, any grade 8 student currently in Peel District School Board and outside of Peel District School Board may apply for Glen Forest IB. Now, I should note that um, a student in the Peel Board must live in the Glen Forest catchment area. Um, there are four IB schools in Peel, two are in Brampton, and two are in Mississauga. Glen Forest IB are, is for students in the east end of Mississauga, and you can find out for sure if this is a school that you will be attending um, for IB by going to this website, www.peelschools.org backslash schools backslash find your school. So you would type in your address and it will let you know which IB school um, you should be applying for. So the question of, um, I am not a Peel student, can I still apply? Yes, absolutely, you may still apply. If you are in the Peel region, um, you have to check to see if your address is within Glen Forest catchment. If it is, then for sure you can apply. If it is not, then you need to apply for the IB school um, where your address is attached to. Students who are not in the Peel region, you may apply for Glen Forest IB. So, um, this question of I do not live in Mississauga, can I apply? Again, students who are in PDSB, you can only apply for Glen Forest IB if you are in Glen Forest catchment. If you are not in a Peel school, but you live in the Peel region, you need to double check to see if Glen Forest is the school attached to your address. And again, you can do so by going to www.peelschool.org backslash schools backslash find your school. non peel students who live outside of the Peel region may apply for Glen Forest IB. Students who are outside of the Peel region and students who are not in um, Peel District School Board will need to provide a proof of home address um, upon applying. So how do you apply for Glen Forest IB? Well, you would go to our Glen Forest website. The easiest way to get there is to type in tinyurl.com backslash Glen Forest IB. That URL will redirect you to the official Glen Forest website where you can apply for Glen Forest IB online. So the question of how do you decide which students are admitted into the program? Well, Glen Forest has an IB admission committee that consists of the IB coordinators and also IB teachers. We review the application and we determine which student meet criteria. So um, the three things we look at, the three things that we look at to determine whether a student would meet criteria, grade 7 final report card grades and learning skills, the grade 8 progress report grades and learning skills, and also we we'll be looking at the essay answer to the admission question. The admission requirements in terms of grades, averages, and um, results of the answer to the essay vary year to year, but generally, um, students who meet criteria would um, have the following. So they would have an, an, an overall average of 75% on the final grade seven report card. Um, have a progressing very well, or at least a progressing well, on the grade 8 progress report card. Have good to excellent learning skills on the final grade 7 report card, as well as the grade 8 progress report card. And ideally, a level 4, if not a level 4, then on, uh, at least a level 3 on the IB admission question written response section. The random selection process, what is it, and how does it work? Well. Student who meet criteria, that means they meet all the minimum requirements listed above, would then be entered into a random selection process. It's also known as the lottery. 
um, through the random selection lottery process. Students will be assigned a number randomly. Those with a lower randomly assigned number will be offered admissions in rounds one and two and potentially three. So if a student with a randomly generated number one will definitely be offered an admission and uh, the student with a higher randomly assigned number will um, only be ex offered admission if there are spots available. To ensure equitable admission to regional learning choice programs, such as the IB program, the board has decided um, that based on a process of self-identification, all Black Canadian, Black African, Black Caribbean, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis students who self-identify and meet criteria for admission will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. The random selection process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the school level. So the question of our teacher letters or of reference needed to apply, no. We do not um, need any teacher reference letters. Um, so a question of, I'm currently in an IB MYP program. Would I get automatic admission to Glen Forest IB? Unfortunately, no. The Peel District School Board policy states that um, students who are currently in an MYP middle school program will not have automatic admission to the high school IB program. So all students must apply um, the same way and be admitted with the same rules. So the question of, can I come in and pick up an application package from the main office? The answer is no. All applications are online, so students would apply online through the Glen Forest IB website. So the question of can applicants make an appointment to discuss their application with the principal or the IB coordinators? It is not possible for us to meet each applicant um, individually every year. We get hundreds and hundreds of applications and there's simply no time to answer everyone's questions or specific questions. We will answer specific questions if those questions are emailed to the IB coordinators. On this screen here are the application dates and deadlines. You can also find um, this information online on Glen Forest IB website. So the application will open on November the 3rd at 8.30 a.m. and close on November the 23rd at 3 p.m. The first, second, and third round of uh, offers uh, will be made um, from December the 3rd to December the 17th. So when you are applying and you are a non-Peel District School Board student and you do not have a Peel District School Board student number, don't worry about it. Um, every applicant will uh, receive an application reference number. Um, you can leave the PDSB student number blank. And the OEN is uh, the Ontario Education Number. And every student in Ontario will have an OEN. So just refer to your report card to find your OEN. An IEP is an individual education plan. If you have an IEP, you'll know what it is. If you don't have an IEP, don't worry about it. Um, the IEP will be submitted to um, Glen Forest IB program if you are a Peel student. If you are a non-Peel student, you will need to email a copy of the IEP to Glen Forest IB at peelsb.com. Student application status will be communicated through email. So how will you find out if you've been accepted to the program? Well, you will be finding out through email um, during the dates that are on the screen and you will have to accept the offer of admission by the dates shown on the screen. Again, these dates are also listed on the Glen Forest IB website. In terms of fees, um, there is a $40 non-refundable application fee that must be paid online during the application process. Um, so if a student is offered admission and the student accepts the offered mission. Um, when they accept the offered mission, they will then pay for the grade nine 
NYP fee of $257.50. And once a student is in grade 10, they will then pay another $257.50 fee. And um, in grade 11 and 12, students have to pay a total of $2,785, um, split into four payments of $696.25. Um, these payments will be paid online, um, through cash online. So some miscellaneous questions that we have received in the past, one of which is, uh, if I decide to come out of the IB program, can I stay in Glen Forest? Well, if Glen Forest is not your home school, and if you want to come out of the IB program, you will then have to go back to your home school. If Glen Forest is your home school and you are in the IB program and you come out of the IB program, then you would stay at Glen Forest. And another question is, uh, is there a bus service available for IB students? Um, because of the pandemic, there is no longer um, an IB private bus service available, so students must arrange for their own way to school. So here are some contact information. Um, Ms. McLaren and Ms. Moang Martin are both the NYP coordinators. So if you have any questions, please email them um, at the addresses um, shown on the screen. Ms. Habib is the diploma program coordinator. So if you have any questions about the DP program, please ask Ms. Habib. We also have a few social media accounts that you can access to get some information as well. We have an Instagram account, it's Glen Forest IB, uh, and there are three Twitter accounts related to the IB program and our school. We have the Glen Forest IB Twitter account, we have the Student Services Twitter account, and we also have the General Glen Forest Secondary School Twitter account. So these are all the frequently asked questions and answers. Um, again, you can access this frequently asked question document on our IB website. Well, good evening, everybody. And I'd like you to uh, thank you for attending our open house tonight. Um, I specifically want to thank uh, Ms. Meng Martin, Ms. McLaren, and Ms. Habib. Um, and Ms. Holloway uh, for their exceptional uh, program that they've uh, provided for you to this evening. Um, I uh, would like to uh, recognize that our program at Glen Forest has been um, in existence for many years and quite successfully uh, uh, recognized throughout the world for the program that's uh, provided here at Glen Forest and it's due to outstanding uh, teachers like uh, Ms. Wang Martin, Ms. McLaren, Ms. Habib, and others um, who uh, have been at Glen Forest for a number of years, along with the support from our uh, head of guidance, Ms. Jatindranath and Ms. Halloway. Um, I, again, just want to reiterate that the IB program is an academic program, but I want to emphasize that word program. Uh, it's not just a series of courses. Um, it is a, a holistic program where there's an opportunity for students to be involved in co-curricular commitments, the extended essay, CAS, uh, personal project, um, a number of um, things that happen outside of the program that are really the enrichment piece of IB and make it a program rather than just uh, select courses. Um, is the, the program a little more challenging than the Ontario curriculum? Yes, it is. But it's in, it's in that additional effort and in that additional uh, material provided uh, through IB classes and the experience and expertise gained through the program or co-curricular pieces that separate our IB students uh, in applying to university. Uh, it's why they are uh, recipients to, uh, of many entrance scholarships. It's why they gain entry to almost any program uh, in Ontario or abroad that they apply to. And it sets uh, our students up for an incredible uh, amount of success, uh, not only in their undergraduate, but in their graduate years. Uh, and I'm sure uh, you would have heard Ms. Habit perhaps refer to the studies coming out of uh, UBC that show that our IB graduates are um, better prepared, do much better in university and gain entrance into more graduate programs than students from any other type of uh, program.
So I, I want to congratulate you, uh, parents, for being so involved in your students' education, your child's education, by attending this evening's uh, information session. And, um, you know, we welcome your uh, child into the IB program. It's open to all. Uh, and I know that uh, we look forward to greeting uh, those students who are successful in our program in September. We wish all of you the very, very best luck and thank you for attending um, this evening. Please check out the information on our website and uh, the frequently asked questions and the videos. There are, there's the one we showed. There's the uh, PowerPoint that goes into a lot more detail. You can also learn more about the IB courses by looking at the IB site. And, um, and then I invite you to read the testimonials of students because in the end, it's really the student voice that um, will let you know about our program and the experiences they've had here. We hope that if you have any questions, you just send us an email and otherwise um, that you find all of your questions answered on our website and that you um, go to the website and apply, open it up on Monday at uh, 8.30. And I can't see your question. There's no leniency due to COVID. All the information is available on the website. If you're a appeal board student, you do not have to send your report card. It comes to us automatically. We've had up to 500 people apply for the program. All the students get the same essay question. The email that you send your report cards to, it's on the website. It seems like there's a, a question about textbooks. Um, we do follow the IB curriculum, um, if that's what you're asking. Uh, we follow in DP, we follow the DP curriculum and MYP. Um, we are following the requirements for MYP. Um, there is no mark inflation. There's a table of equivalents. Um, There's a table of equivalents that we follow. Students get an IB level and that's translated into an Ontario percentage. Translation and it's available on the IBSO, IB Schools of Ontario. Uh, they determine the translation. And it's quite fair. Um, our, our students do quite well. The essay is, I believe, 3,000 characters. It's not very long. IB teaches history, yes. We, we have, um, students take history in the MYP program as well. Uh, the course they don't take that's in the Ontario curriculum is civics and careers. Um, we, we have the leadership class um, instead. Yep, you'll be able to apply on Monday. It's very exciting. Good luck with your applications. Um, you have to finish the essay by the time the application process is completed. So it has to be submitted. Your, your application is not completed unless you submit the essay. It does, the, I don't think the, the essay, um, besides the essay, the application doesn't take a long time. Unless you're from outside the appeal board and you have to upload your, um, your, your report cards and your information. Most of these questions, they'll be on the school website. So just go to the website and check it out. Um, and most of the questions are on there. The process is very simple. Um, just follow it step by step. All right, so um, we are going to log off now. Um, if you have any questions that are not already on the FAQ or on the website, um, you can send us um, our school email, glenforceib at plsb.com. Um, and we will do our best to um, answer your question, but please do go over the FAQ um, and the, present the PowerPoint presentation and all of the information on the IB website. Okay, so uh, we hope to see uh, you or your child at Glen Forest next year. And um, good night, everybody. Keep safe. And um, hopefully we will see you next year. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.